Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and today I am so excited because we are going to be starting a brand new series today. We are going to be watching Big Mood starring Lydia West and Nicola Coughlin today. I am a huge fan of Nicola Coughlin. I've been following her for years. I love Bridgerton. I love Dairy Girls. My channel might look a little bit like a Nicola Coughlin fan account, but it is so I'm not mad about that at all. <laughs> I know that this is like a dark comedy I know that Nicola Coughlin is more than capable of making me laugh and cry at the same time from Dairy Girls, and I can't wait to get into the show. We are going to be watching the first two episodes today. We're going to be watching them two at a time. There's six episodes. There will be three videos on season one. Hopefully there will be a season two so we can keep watching it in the future, but who knows? I also know that this show does talk about some pretty heavier topics like mental health and mental illness. As a mentally ill girly myself, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because I feel like I might get called out a little bit, but... I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this show. We are going to get right into it and we are going to watch Big Mood Season 1, Episode 1, called Up. <gasps> I mean... <laughs> I love her so much. This is incredible. Written and created by Camilla Whitehill. <laughs> I love this pink velour suit. I love that. Hi! Whose scooter is that, Maggie? Mine. I bought it after watching a particularly persuasive TikTok. <laughs> and you've just given it away. Honestly, Eddie, I just saw myself on it reflected in a shop window and it was a rude away. <laughs> to my old this school, is so to good. back and do a talk for their little drama club. Isn't that cute? As a former student working professionally in theatre, I thought I could just like come and do like a little talk because I'm going to be in town anyways. <laughs> I had this one history teacher in particular. He was just really inspirational. Hot? <laughs> I think he still works there, so maybe I could like thank him. Sorry, were you visited in the night by three ghosts? <laughs> I'm turning 30 soon and I want to be a good person. Look, sometimes you wake up and you just decide your whole life is gonna change and it lasts for two days. I will look after the bar. That manager you just hired. I'm him. So What's his name? I think it's Clint. <laughs> oh, Clint. His dad's an Earl. Oh. No! Quick stop, and then we gotta hustle. Gonna be late for my talk. Why are you putting air quotes around talk? That's what you're wearing to go to a school. I wanna seem like a successful lady. <laughs> that is not a successful lady outfit. That is a shag me outfit. Who are you trying to shag? No one. No one, not at all. Yeah, she's got a full beat. She's got the fit on. She knows what she's doing. Mr. Wilson might be my soulmate. <laughs> no! He also liked the other teachers. He was funny and smart. And we just like, had this connection. You were a teenager! <laughs> it was prom night 2008. I just turned 16. My braces were freshly off. Then Mr. Phillips slithered over. He said I looked really grown up. <laughs> and all of a sudden he lurched at me with his gross mouth. Prom? Jail. They're so intense. Everything's intense when you're a mentally ill, unmedicated 16 year old. Okay? But the crucial thing is that he didn't try it on. He wouldn't shag a child. <laughs> and that made you more attracted to him. What's that? Hiya. I'm in Dalston. I thought I'd come by and see how our bar's doing. You about? I'm not, but I'll be back tomorrow if you want to swing by then. Ah, uh, sorry. Me and Lauren have a deer carcass preparation workshop. Ew. I'm still into surviving the inevitable collapse of society. Oh no, not a doomsday prepper. All clear. So, we've owned the bar for nearly 12 years. I've <gasps> before that. Is he trying to sell it? That's shitty. <gasps> Yeah, you think coming back to your high school is gonna be like glamorous and like you're gonna feel like you're on top of the world, but in actuality, it's probably the worst thing you could do for yourself. Especially if there are students there who are attending the school. I remember you, a little Irish girl, top of the morning, do you? Do you still got those nasty nose blades? No. <laughs> Sometimes. 
<laughs> Call me the nosebleed kid. <laughs> oh, I was the nosebleed kid in elementary school. It just happened. It's not a fun life. Oh my god. That's him. That's Mr. Phillips. Ew, why is he still there? Yeah, he knows what he did. Disgusting. How does he still have his job here? I mean, people saw him do the lurch. Mr. Wilson saw him do the lurch and now he's his boss. Do you think that's really fucked up? Yeah. Our principal, Mr. Wilson, you might remember him. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. Oh, yeah, I think I remember him. Just a little bit. We shouldn't be wasting you on the little ones. So he set up an assembly for you with the A-level lot. Only a hundred odd kids or so, so it should be quite fun. What? I... A hundred uh, teenagers. Oh, oh, she, oh, she thought it was going to be kids. Like, little kids. Oh. Oh, no. James, she's getting cold feet. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> oh, that is not how I remembered him. <laughs> Maybe because it's been 15 years? He just looks like a dude. <laughs> so do you actually remember me? Did you have to look through a few old yearbooks? No, you're not someone you forget in a hurry. Because I was a nightmare. No, no, I saw you more as a young woman with uh, a lot of spirit. Well, thanks for, um, it would be nice to be back then. Oh. She's gone. She's... Oh. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Phillips. Mm. Do you remember what happened with him at prom? Just like surprised to see that he's still working here. Well, better get back. Didn't time for your big moment. No, don't don't ignore the fact that he didn't answer the question. Maggie, babe, don't don't ignore that. Maggie, Donovan. Alison, yeah, we were in the same year. It's been... Yonks. <laughs> Yonks. Oh, well, I teach dance here, which is brill. <laughs> oh, and I've got three kids, if you can believe that. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> three kids? She is my age. What was she, a child bride? Some women spend their 20s starting a family. Some women spend them on ketamine. Both are valid choices. <laughs> I'm somewhere in between. Not not close to the ketamine, not close to the family. Just kind of somewhere else. Awful. <laughs> These are teenagers? Oh yeah, this is awful. What is theater? It's just a room. Uh, it's like this room, but um... Better you can get wine there, uh, for instance. <laughs> and if, if if you if you have a if you have a room, you have theatre. That's actually quite profound because <laughs> think about it. Like everyone has a room, but like no, and not every. Um, it's really good to start a speech with saying something that makes no sense, and then saying this is so profound. Instead of me like do this like long speech, I think I thought like kind of do like a Q and A. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. That's worse. I feel like this episode is a panic attack waiting to happen. Did you like school? Oh, fuck no, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. I've heard a swear word before. Oh, they're starting to like her. It felt like, um, like a huge waste of my time and like... What a great thing to say at a speech to high schoolers. <laughs> like, what did I even learn? Like, I don't remember anything I learned and I turned out fine, so... Yeah, at a certain point, it's not about making a good speech, it's about getting the teenagers to like you. And then you feel on top of the world. But they really responded to me, you know, the honesty. Teenagers like honesty. Oh, oh. It, <laughs> it is a battle keeping some of these kids in school. You have absolutely no idea. You, you just... And what? You... Oh, I don't like... I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, Maggie, you do you, girl. Get it. It's a, I... I've been thinking about you for 15 years. Oh, me too. That's awful. I hate it. Oh, oh. Oh my God, she's actually doing it. I've got to start dance club. At least I'm so nervous. Dad. Oh, sorry, I, I, I think Mr. Wilson's just a little bit busy right now. Oh, no, it's okay. It's, it's just us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't run in. No. Fuck, James. No, 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 please listen. I'm his wife. 
I'm sorry. Oh, you so he. A student. Yeah. Oh, I am genuinely sorry, but I cannot. Yeah, this this is. Oh. <laughs> and now you never go back. Ever. You never even go back to that town again. Look, I'm all for shenanigans, but are you manic? That's a yes. You, you know what comes next, uh, right? Okay, this wasn't my finest hour, but you don't need to be so judgy. No, I'm not. I was just concerned. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and wash an old man's cum out of my tights. You're a nightmare. <laughs> I love you. I love her too, but that is a sentence I did not need to hear today. <laughs> oh, they're so real. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Oh no. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Ugh. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, that was episode one. Which, like, truly did feel like a manic episode. Like, it literally, oh, wow. No, I really liked that, okay. Yeah, I really liked that. That was, it, like, the pacing felt exactly like being manic. Like, it felt like, constantly on constantly up keep just like going 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 making the worst decisions impulsive decisions but being like it's fine doesn't even matter it's okay we're we're just gonna you know, brush it off it wow yeah and at the very end we see what we're going into with the next episode and so we're just gonna get right into it and season one episode two is called down oh hello Reception with a bunch of little mice or rats? There's so many. Why are there so many? Are they pets or Clint? <laughs> I want to find out that his name's not actually Clint. I need to know if the rat hotel is, if they're pets or if they're just there. That's my ray of sunshine. Happy birthday no, no. to you. It's too sad. <laughs> he was my only fit ex, and he was rich. Do you remember when he bought me an iPad Nano just because? <laughs> what does he do now? What do posh men do for jobs? I feel like it's only ever finance or something. Yes. You know that little ball pit thing you hate? Uh, no, not balls to the wall. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, but he's so normal and sane. <laughs> Ugh, you don't want to be with a normal person. They're boring. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no. We don't want to go anymore, by the way. You said all you wanted for your birthday was a gentle evening supermarket sweet duty came out. Okay, but I swung by the Max yesterday and they had a lot of new stock delivered. God, if I could finally get a big Lacrosse, things might really turn around for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's TJ Maxx in the US. TJ Maxx. It always solves my problems for about 25 minutes you okay yeah i just thought i saw her you know oh my god get an exterminator like oh so they're not pets they're yeah <laughs> this is awful i've had this done to me when i was super depressed just people showed up at my house and we're like, surprise! And I was like, oh, I literally just rolled out of bed for this. I've been wearing the same thing for five days. And I did not want to see a human being ever. And it's the worst. Also, she let her show up like this. Eddie, what the hell? I know we have wanted to throw a Love Actually party for years, but this could not be worse timing. Just because you're in a phone. Yeah, it's not, not a phone, no, it's a mood disorder. Yeah. But if you stay at home alone on your birthday, you're gonna regret it. I no, actually, actually, I don't think she would. I think she'd be okay with it and then she would celebrate it later. So if you are Laura Lynn, does that make me... Her brother 
who has a mental illness. It's what we always said we'd do. Oh, it's funny when you're the one with the mental illness suggesting it when you're not in a deep depression. I have also never seen Love Actually, so I don't know any of these references. I've actually found a way to bring in a bit more revenue. Ever heard of Balls to the Wall? The adult ball pit thing. Correct. So I happen to know the guy that owns it. I happen to know they don't have a Dawson branch. And I happen to know that we <sighs> have a basement that is empty. Oh no, that's awful. You invited- oh no. Oh no! I'm fine, Mom. I'm just in costume, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's me anytime that I'm <laughs> depressed. I'm actually fine. I'm just playing a character in my real life. You're not taking your lithium. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I counted the pills. What? That is very fucked up. <laughs> it's like you can't just stop taking them, will you? Need Got a plan, Mom. Trust me. Mm. Max. Oh. Oh. oh, so nice to see you out and about. God. Eddie says that you've been feeling a bit down. <sighs> I was a wreck last year after my cheek fell as my grated. I... <laughs> oh! Not the engaged girlie. I have never related to a situation more than right now. There was only two! <laughs> what? No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm not trying to torture you. But it feels like torture! I know you feel like shit, but if you stay at home alone on your birthday, it will make you feel worse. Sometimes you just want to feel bad. Why can't you just let her feel bad? Come back in and I promise you'll start to feel better. When you're depressed, you don't want to be surrounded with happy people and you don't want to be surrounded with people telling you that you're going to feel better. You just want to feel like shit. <laughs> Oh, she's, yeah, she's getting them all to leave. Yeah. I need you little freaks to yeah. this party down. I, I see her brain, and I appreciate it. Oh no, we wait. No, this toilet is blocked <clears throat> by a uh, ghost. It's toilet. Yeah, the ghost doesn't know who that is. <laughs> Mushroom oil? Mushroom oil? Okay, I am all for realism, but you could have at least washed your hair. No, no, pretend to be a ghost. <laughs> We've encountered some issues. <laughs> Bees, this is such bad timing. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ, no. Yeah, this is the worst thing you could have done for her. Stop costumes with me. No. Yes. It's her birthday. You have to. Ow. You made me walk around this party looking like a convicted tube groper, knowing you'd invited Johnny. Maggie, I'm so sorry, but there are more pressing issues right now. Hotel Ratatouille has had a breakout. <sighs> oh no, I'm so shocked. <laughs> oh god. He still looks like a Roman statue, and I haven't changed my hair in three years. <laughs> that's so real. <laughs> oh, that's always how it is when you run into an ex, isn't it? Oh god. Ooh. Now that I know that they're not pets, they don't like them. But they, you know? We have a great basement here at Wetmouth, just sitting around empty. Empty because all the rats left? There are rats everywhere. Shut up! Okay. Whatever it takes. <laughs> it's like a horror movie, but two different horrifying situations. One, being depressed <laughs> at a party that you didn't want to be at, and the other one, rats. Oh no, the mushrooms are kicking in! Mom, everything is going to work out. Because now she's high. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Oh, these old guys almost gate crashed the party. <laughs> I said trap. Kill! You don't understand that. You are there. Clint. I'm afraid of Clint. <laughs> I can really see my balls in here. Let me get a round in. Shampoo's all round. Yeah? I can't believe he thinks. <laughs> Eddie! I've had an pen. <laughs> Johnny is my schoolmate. Got together and we were so young, but now we're like older, we're like ready for each other, you know? <laughs> but 
I did hear that he's engaged to a hair model. Ugh. But love is an open door. That's a song from Pro. <laughs> Just let him hold my hand so my fingers don't get stuck. <laughs> I'm truly sorry for what's Oh, what's about to happen? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. I love it. Her dressed like an octopus. This is incredible. <laughs> you had a bitch. Your hand's soaking wet. Uh, Make a wish. I don't know who that is. Wow, what a night. What can I say except love is an open door and through that door came all of you. Maybe even soulmates. <laughs> He's like, what? We all came from that fish with a tail. I think, I think she had legs. <sighs> Even this rat deserves love. For God's sake, Maggie, put the rat down. <laughs> no. <laughs> this episode is crazy. I've told you over and over, Eddie, if it ever seemed like things were going downhill again, you were to call me. If she wants to come off the lithium, she can. Maybe she just needs us all to, you know, support her. If you won't listen to me, Maggie, I'll save my breath. Oh, oh, this is rough. Jay, I'm so sorry we about- We are still in the bar. It's over, Eddie. You know, my fiance Aurora is actually a Reiki healer. I think she could really help you out. Leave. Get out of here. Fuck off. <laughs> Did you invite my ex-boyfriend to my non-consensual birthday party for a business meeting? Did you open the door to the rat hotel? Yes. Cancel each other out? <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Jay's selling the bar. Why didn't you tell me? So I'll fix it. I always fix it. I fix problems and you have them. Oh, that's kind of a brutal thing to say to her on her birthday that you forced her to come out for. That was the first two episodes of Big Mood. I truly loved every second that I just watched. It is so good. It's so like raw and real and like... It does such a good job of making you feel what Maggie is feeling through like the pacing of the show and like the environment that you're in. Like I said in the, uh, before we started episode two, like the very beginning of episode one, like was just going nonstop and it felt like that manic high that you get if you have ever experienced that kind of feeling like it just like like I felt it through the show and then the dramatic change at the end of episode one going into episode two like you felt the pull you felt it like I literally felt like I was watching like moments from my mental health journey like put onto a screen like it it just it felt very real and very relatable to me I'm so excited to see where the rest of this season goes. Very big fan so far. Everyone is just beautiful, phenomenal. I love it so much. I can't wait to watch more. If you want to join me watching the rest of Big Mood, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, stick around. I had such a fun time watching this with you guys. I hope you guys had a good time as well. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will leave some of our previous reactions in the description below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. I will see you all very soon for more Big Mood. Bye.